Hello everyone, I'm Hunter. You're watching Kyle Welcher's fishing video. We are in Alabama right now. It's mid-July. I hope you enjoy the video and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be the first one to tell you that right there is a beautiful boat. I should think so at least because I did design it from scratch. <clears throat> Built it exactly how I wanted it. But anyways, I have not been doing what I should be doing recently. I have not been washing the boat. I, I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I haven't like, you know, not performed any upkeep on it. I just have let it get pretty dang dirty. Just cleaned it up, got it ready to go. I've been in a slump lately, and it's hard to have max confidence when you're not fully prepared. So now I have Hunter organized the center box of my boat, got it clean, everything's ready to go. Now I can have the utmost confidence because we are prepared to go look good and fish good. So we'll go catch some eventually. Happy birthday, dear Ty. Look at what somebody dropped off on our property. Two little pups, cute as a button. What are their names, Hunter? Um, this one's name is Lucas, and this one's name's Reese, because he looks like a Reese cup. Cutie pies. I'm knocking him down. He's white, one HP. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Cow Watcher Fishing. So what do you think about Ty playing video games? I think he's very good at it. He's very good at it. That's what y'all just saw. He was playing in a tournament. He was super focused. He was talking to his teammates. I just had to put a clip in that because he's so good at it. Like he's actually, it's amazing to me how he can use this hand to move around and build those things and then the other hand to shoot. And he has such good aim. It's actually unbelievable somebody could be that good at that. But he's phenomenal at playing those video games. He's like top point zero 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 nine percent or something in the world at Fortnite. It's, it's crazy. But that was him playing the video game. The rest of this video is going to be probably me fishing. There he is. Got him. Turned around, threw back to him, and caught him, dude. There's a big one right there. Nom, 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 nom. Well, there's, there's bass cruising. They, they went behind that bush. There's two of them. There. Right there, dude, throw. throw. There's three. He got it, dude. Oh, you got a bigger one. Dude, look at that freaking crawfish down his throat. Oh, my goodness. Can y'all see this? Holy crap, look at that freaking claw. Look at that sucker. claw down his throat. We got a brand new place all together today. Y'all have never seen this place. Some of y'all have that watch my videos have been here before in real life. But... This place is absolutely full of giants. Current's about to come on. Current actually just came on. Hasn't really got down to this stretch of the river yet. I caught my first six pounder here. First six pounder ever caught right here. And I've caught a few six pounders here, but a bunch of threes. So let's get out there and bust some. There's also some really big spots that live here. That could be a cool bonus. I'm talking about like some three pound spots live here. That could be awesome bonus. And then there's some, I know a 14 pounder was caught here. So let's try to catch a giant. Look at that little dinker. We got a swap on that? Huh? We got a swap on that? Yeah, we got a swap. So what we're doing today is every time somebody catches a fish, we got a swap. I, so he ran the trolling motor first, he catches one, now I get to run it. He caught about a six inch spot, so he wasted his time. God, dog, you got a big one? Big big spot, dude. It is, it's a, it's a good spot, dude, good spot. Awesome, dude. I gotta change baits. I will. He ain't that big, but he's a nice spot. Nice little spotted bass. Oh. Dude, look at that freaking crawfish down his throat. Oh my goodness. Can y'all see this? Holy crap, look at that freaking claw. Look that at that sucker. claw down his throat. Whoa, dude. Look at that spot. Freaking eating, man. Dang, dude. You see that claw? That claw? Boom. Nice spot of bass. Is he two? He's probably two, 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 three, yeah. He's bloody. I had a fish follow mine, but he didn't do it. There he is, right there.
There he is, got him. Turned around, threw back to him, and caught him, dude. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Turned around, threw a swim bait to him. He came up and smashed it. He came out on my shaky head twice and did not eat it. I threw a little swim bait to him and thunk. Come over here, dude. Don't you come off of there. 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 Skinny, though. Check that out, dude. Get him come eat the little swim bait. Mmm. Crap. I would like to. Look at that dude. That's three and a half pounder. Nice one, dude. Very nice. Oh, we got to switch sides, don't we? Time to switch, Matt said. Look at that dude. Awesome. I'm sure I'm losing that crystal clear water. I thought it was a two and a half pounder. Three and a half. There's a big one right there. That, that ain't him. That's just a tiny one that eat it in there. See that big one behind mine? I'm gonna get him off real fast because there's a big one right there. Don't you rip my swim bait. Don't you rip my swim bait. He's right there. Or he was at least. Big one. No, he ain't either. God, I thought it was. Ate that little frog, though. Boom. Now get your tail in the back. That was like watching paint dry. God, I thought it was a big one. It's a good one, though. Dang, did he choke it? Check that dude out. Nom, 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 nom. Dang, dude. Did you see that? Yeah. That was awesome. I guess you're it. That was a very large one to drag out the water like that. <laughs> when I said that on the hook set? Yeah. yeah. He went, he went uh, cartwheeling whenever I set the hook. Cool, cool, cool. That's like a good one. That's like a two and a half. <laughs> Snatch him right out of the water. Extra heavy pride will do. Well, there's, there's bass cruising. That they just behind that bush. There's two of them. There. Right there, dude. Throw. Throw. There's three. There's three of them. You got it, dude. Oh, you got a bigger one. Awesome, dude. Get him in here. Yes, sir. Lee, dude, pretty glad I got eyes. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. I was like, big dude, bass cruising behind the bush. <laughs> Just in case y'all are wondering, Matt takes forever to unhook fish. Whenever he gets unhooked, though, whenever he gets it unhooked, though, we're gonna show y'all. Dude, I definitely do not have the death grip on fish. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Boom! Ooh, Doubling up. I got a three, then I got an assist. I would have had, you know, three or four uh, shad spawns. <clears throat> you definitely would have. And then... Oh God. God, how did he not come off? Dang, dude. How did that one not come off? That was freaking sweet, though, wasn't it? So cool. Alright, your turn on the front. He wadded my frog up. Hey, when that happens. Pretty one, though. These fish are so stout up here. So, if anybody's wondering, I know y'all been seeing me throw this color frog a ton. This is just a natural green. I don't believe in colors at all. I just really like the way I can see this one. I can see the red mouth, and I just feel like I can see this color very well whenever I'm casting. And I don't want to use a white. I just feel like that is too bright. 
but I can just see this color really well when I'm casting. It helps me cast accurately better time this green pumpkin one and I feel like I honestly feel like I can't cast as accurately if I'm using a darker color bait I know it's all in my head but that's how I feel I just tie a standard old polymer knot when I'm using 60 pound braid or higher if I'm using 50 pound braid I use a double polymer and that's it this one of my favorite color frogs the green pumpkin one to me just looks extremely cool I hope you can see up in that light. Probably can't see through it. I think the green punk one looks really cool, but I always tear them up very easily. Yep, live target. Is it a popper? Yeah. Smashed it, dude. God, dog. Back in the water like a dummy. <laughs> I mean, crunchy munched it. Yeah, I love this. I mean, I love this three pounder. Frog is buried in there, perfect. Didn't even rip a hole because this rod is moderate. Boom! These suckers fight so freaking hard, man. I love this place. I love this place. Got to get the heck away from Chickamauga. It's not growing, dude. What? You gotta get the tail up here and start throwing. Dude, I don't catch them. You, you have caught them. A little one. That took some finesse. Look at how them hooks are out of his mouth. Dang. Turn this one on? Yep. Yeah. Look how them hooks are out of his mouth. Hmm. Little one. A, a frog should have, you, you'd think. Dang, man. <laughs> Dude, they eat it so freaking good. Holy crap. Looky there. Looky there, looky there. And I love it. No, I don't know, dude. I set the hook and it felt freaking right. I actually did catch a couple of bait from Harden, but no big one. Well, we're leaving the boat ramp now. A little disappointing as far as size goes. What do you think, Matt? You disappointed as far as size goes? Yeah, it could have been a little bigger. But we caught some three pounders, caught some good ones, caught plenty of fish. It's can't complain if you have a day like that in the middle of July. Especially not here in Alabama where it gets notoriously tough. It gets extremely tough around here this time of year. And we only actually caught some. But I would have liked to catch one five or six pounder or maybe one a piece. A lot of times you can here. But we kind of got dialed in on a fun way to catch them, which is the frog. So we didn't explore all options. But it was still fun, no doubt. Now we got to go out to eat for my little brother's birthday. Going to be cool. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate you guys watching. If you like the videos, share them. See y'all.